Welcome to today's devotional video. I'm excited about what God is doing in our midst. I believe we're seeing an amazing miracle. As I look at you today, I'm amazed at how white my beard, as it gets longer, seems to be. There's a lot of black in there somewhere. And uh, it reminds me of the fact that when my wife first went through a stem cell transplant for multiple myeloma kind of blood cancer, that one day her hair was black. The next day, uh, they thought all this hair was going to just turn loose. She'd go bald. That didn't happen. But her whole head of hair turned as white as my beard all over, shock white. And that was an interesting period of time. Sometimes when we go through radical transitions, we can have this radical change in our appearance. And um, so she did various things in order not to have that appearance. And I think we're at a similar place in our nation that what we're going through now, no one will ever forget what happened when we dealt with the coronavirus. Today, we wanted to stay very spiritual and prayerful. There are two realms of prayer we want to pray for. I believe that our government is coming together in the U.S. because of our prayers, and that God is creating a new unity I believe coming out of this, left versus right is not the way we're going to look at politics, politicians, or things that need to be done. I think we're going to be thinking about righteousness and justice, Psalm 89, verse 14. Let me read the scripture. It's Exodus chapter 22, actually Ezekiel 22, forgive me, verse 30, and I sought for a man or woman, among them that should make up the heads and stand in the gap before me for the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found none. In this passage, God says the prophets, the princes, and the people weren't ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Therefore, there had to be uh, a destruction of the land uh, of Israel. Going back to chapter 13, 5, we read that yesterday, where the prophets had not gone up into the gap and prayed. Now, we're not going to talk anything technical. We're not talking anything medical. What we're doing today is talking about the power of positive faith, and prayer. I believe that God is going to do what we've been praying about. He's going to take our prayers and our praise and the faith component, and he's going to stop the plague. Now, we're going to pray for New York in a moment, Washington State. Also, we're going to be praying very, very fervently that the nation's most hard-hit regions will see the greatest manifestation of mercy. I love the scripture that says, where sin did abound, grace did much more abound. So that's where we're going to go. I want us to pray, and then I will come back to the United 714 prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're asking you to intervene on our behalf. Touch the most wide-hit uh, states in the Union. Also continue to protect Maryland, D.C., and Virginia, where most of my church members are from. Also, Lord, we're praying that those who are listening to us around the world will have the protective covering of praise and prayer and intercession. Let us be like Moses and Aaron, 
when they were confronted, they fell on the ground and they said, Lord, we don't know what to do. And you gave strategy and direction. Give strategy to our great president and the Congress and the Senate. Give strategy to both sides of the aisle that doesn't conflict and give us a grace of unity. I want to add in the final minute, uh, Unite 714, a bunch of leaders came together. I was on the opening telephone call for this, and it was an amazing opportunity as Bishop Jakes and uh, many, many others came together, black, white, Hispanic, folks like Sammy Rodriguez, the first week of their operation, and we're going to go at least eight weeks calling the nation to pray the same thing in the prayer of agreement. That's what's going to really get it. God is going to hear our prayer, but there is a multiplied power in the prayer of agreement. So we're reading Matthew 6, 9 through 13, which says, pray like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also forgive or have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That prayer is powerful. So we're asking people all over the world to pray this way. First, thank you, Lord, for the power of your name, that your name is greater than any disease. Second dimension of prayer is, Lord, thank you for your salvation, your spiritual salvation, and your deliverance. Third, Lord, thank you for your provision with this trillion, several trillion dollar uh, stimulus package and every other way you will bring provision. Lord, thank you for your forgiveness. Forgive us for anything that's untoward. Cause our hearts to turn toward you. We know the plague will be stopped as we operate in repentance for things done this way, wrong toward God, and this way, wrong toward men. And finally, Lord, thank you for delivering us from evil. And that means bad choices, sinful actions of commission that we will do in omission. Lord, we thank you that America and the world are safe. We thank you that you're going to multiply double the size of our local church and other churches. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Remember that overnight our whole appearance can change from black to gray, from transgressor to saint from those at risk to those being saved. Overnight, we can become the beautiful saints of God. I believe that's what's happening to many of us. We're coming under the shadow of his great wings. God bless you.